Hello everyone, so today's video is going to be my March manga haul, also known as the month where I let everybody else decide what I was going to buy. So we will start with the continuing series uh, that I've been collecting throughout the last couple months or years, um, and then we will move on to new stuff that I have not had in my collection before, and that is the majority of this haul. Um, and I definitely let people on Twitter and YouTube um, and other internet places influence me um, in this month's buying shenanigans. So, uh, I hope you like that. <laughs> also, please ignore the cat scratches all over my hands as I film this video. We're trying to teach the kitten to stop biting and scratching, but it is a long process so far. Um, anyway, let's just jump right into the continuing manga. So first, I'm going to start with some of the uh, manga that you likely saw in my Barnes & Noble shopping vlog if you watched that video. Uh, if you haven't, that's okay. We're going to do a refresher right now. So first, I got Mob Psycho 100 Volume 6 with a very pink cover and this, uh, I like this rock. This rock looks cool. Um, so that one and then uh, Mob Psycho 100 uh, Reagan, the Reagan spinoff volume. Uh, I think that's just a single volume. It looks like it. Um, yeah, I really like the covers on this series. Again, I have not read any Mob Psycho. Um, I'll, I'll get to it. I'll probably watch the anime first, to be honest, and then uh, read the manga. So, yeah, that's that. And then I got Blood on the Tracks Volume 4 and Volume 5 also in that vlog. Um, again, I have not read this yet, but I do have a plan for this series, a video for this series. Um, it will happen very soon likely. I'm probably filming that this weekend, hopefully. Next, I got Ajin Volume 16. Um, I read this entire series this month, and I really, really liked it. Um, I finished the series. I've read um, the first couple volumes quite a few times, but I finished the series this month, and the cat is trying to get in the door right now. <laughs> what do you want? Want to be in here? Want me to leave the door open? Okay. <laughs> Um, so this is volume 16. I don't particularly like this cover, um, but it's fine. I'll, the rest of the covers are spectacular, and I do like how each one has its own, like, base color, but this one doesn't particularly strike me. Um, not that that matters. It's the series that matters. Oh, also, I really like how all of these have a color page, and some of them look really, really nice. Um, they look better than the regular art inside. Let's try not to show spoilers. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like the series. Next, we'll do the last of these smaller um, books, and then we'll get to the bigger books that are continuing. Um, so I got Days of Love at Seagull Villa, Volume 2. This is a Yuri manga that I have not read yet, but I'm pretty sure I will like it based on things I've heard and the covers. Um, I'm very much a manga cover buyer, I guess. <laughs> Next, uh, here are the big ones. So I got 20th Century Boys, Volume 11, um, the om omnibus format, obviously. I really like this color combination in the back. Um, probably don't read that, just in case there's spoilers on the back of that. Um, but yeah, I haven't read this yet. <laughs> um, I'm sure I will like it, because I haven't heard a single bad thing about it, and also I like pretty much all the other Naki Urasawa stuff I've read. Um, but now that it's completed, besides 21st Century Boys, I'll probably read this soon. Um, I was planning on waiting until the, the last volume comes out, like the 21st Century Boys on the Abyss, but I'm not sure. Maybe I'll get to this before then, but who knows what's going to happen. Next, I got Beastars Volume 11 with this kind of sweet-looking bear on the front, but then you look at his claws, and it's kind of less sweet. Um, so there's that. And then I got um, Beast Complex Volume 1, which is by the same author, obviously. Um, so, yeah. I, again, have not read Beastars yet, but I think I will start with Beast Complex. Even though it's only two-volume series, I believe that these are all short stories, so I don't have a problem with starting it and then not having the completed series um, available to me all at once. Um, since it's short stories, that doesn't really matter. So, Oku. So I got volume 15. These back covers pretty much all look the same. Volume 16 with this uh, person who looks like they're up to some shenanigans. I like the back of this one, actually. And volume 17. I think this is the most recent one that's out so far. Oh, wow. Never mind. The backs don't all look the same. That one is really cool. 
Um, yeah, I haven't read this yet, but it sounds very, very interesting and like something I would like. And if I don't like it, I can just get rid of it. Um, but I'll probably wait. I think it's completed at 19 volumes, so I will wait until they're all out and then read the whole thing, as I do with pretty much all the manga I own. Saint Young Men, Volume 5. I really like this cover. Um, I heard this is kind of difficult to just read all at once, so I should probably start reading this just so I know I will like it. I'm pretty sure I will, um, because of the comedic aspect I've heard about it. Let's see if I can move up a little bit. There you go. Um, yeah, not much to say about this since I haven't read it, but uh, I really like the way they look. Um, the volumes look on the shelf when they're all up there. Looks cool. Okay, so the rest of this haul is all, like, new to me series. Um, some of them are finished, some of them are not finished, some of them are single volumes, some of them are probably really long, I don't know. Actually, most of them are finished, now that I'm looking at it, and quite a few single volumes, so not too bad, but if you're watching this video and you see a familiar series, chances are I probably heard you talk about it or you mentioned it to me and I thought it sounded cool so I bought it. <laughs> that is definitely the theme for this month's uh, haul. So first we'll start with one that was not really recommended to me specifically but um, I got the Revolutionary Girl Utena box set that is almost too big for this frame. Um, so this was like 50% off on Amazon. It was like 25 bucks I guess. So I was interested in this. Honestly it is just very pretty. Um, I can take out one of these books and show you how pretty it is. And, uh, of course I picked the pink one because what else would I do? Um, yeah, these books are just really, really pretty. So I bought this, um, of course it is Amazon and Amazon is, you know, Amazon. So, uh, if it would focus, there you go. That's what I get for buying from Amazon. It's not focusing very well, but you can see this, uh, this uh, rip in the cover or in the box. It's the same thing on the bottom. Maybe you can see, there you go. It's almost worse on the bottom, but it wasn't bad enough for me to complain to Amazon, even though I should. Um, yeah, I'm excited to read this though. And uh, the books are fine. So I guess it's fine, I suppose. So first I'll show a couple more I got in that Barnes and Noble vlog. Just really quickly, I got Orient volume one. Don't know anything about this other than it's by the creator of Moggy. Um, and I thought I'd try it out probably in another video. Yeah, I do like this cover, kind of. It's very busy, though. I don't know. And then, oopsies. And then Zom 100 with its very, very pink cover that I really like. I haven't read this yet either. Wow, the back is like blinding. I love that. Um, and then I got A Tropical Fish Yearns for Snow, which is a Yuri manga put out by this. And uh, there you can see the kind of spine misprint I was talking about in that video. It's not too bad, but it is there. It's noticeable if you look for it. So I have two more new to me um, ongoing series. Um, and then the rest of these are completed or one shots. So first one, since I just showed a Yuri, I'll show another Yuri. This is Donuts Under a Crescent Moon, Volume 1. I think this is more about adults rather than high schoolers. She has a purse, so that means she's an adult, right? <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, it was a Yuri manga put out by Seven Seas, and I think I have heard good things about this one. Um, but usually I just buy all the Yuri manga that Seven Seas puts out, so this is one of them. And then uh, next is... These are in no order at all. <laughs> next is Yoshi no Zuikura. Um, the Frog in the Well Does Not Know the Ocean is the subtitle, I guess. Um, this is by the creator of Barakamon. Um, I have watched the anime for Barakamon, and I wanted to buy the manga. And then Yen Press did what Yen Press does and put it out of print. And I was like, okay, well, I'll just read Honda Kun then, since it's by the same creator and follows the same character. And that one's out of print, too. So I really want to read something by this mangaka. And I guess this is my only option. <laughs> So there's only three volumes for the series, so as soon as the third volume comes out, I will read it. Um, I don't know how it's gonna go. I've heard it's about another mangaka, so yeah. <laughs> um, I, I heard also that it got canceled really early, so who knows? Now we'll do one shots. So first is one that was recommended to me uh, personally um, by Justy. So this is Wolf by Shige Nakamura. Um, so this is interesting. Um, it is about a boxer who has daddy issues, I believe. 
So it's a boxer whose father abandoned him and now he wants revenge. So he's going to box him and then try to win. Um, this came from Right Stuff and you can see how yellow it is. Um, we'll talk about that later because I have another thing to mention about that. The art style is very interesting. It really reminds me of like cartoons. Like that especially. Doesn't that look like the Jetsons or something? I don't know. It really looks like cartoons and I'll probably try not to spoil anything. Especially that looks like a cartoon. So the fact that it's a sports manga um, is obviously what got me to buy it. And it's just a one shot. And um, the art looks interesting. I don't think I've ever read a manga with that style of art before. So yeah, I will read this. And then I think this is the first book by uh, Gen that I have. So yeah, Gen Manga is what the publisher is called. So that is that. Next, um, when I filmed my manga collection video, it was bothering me that I don't own all the Jinji Ito books. And if it was just like I was missing like five of them, I wouldn't care. But the fact that I was only missing one um, is bo was bothering me. So I got No Longer Human by Jinji Ito. The reason I originally didn't buy this is because I've read the novel and I really didn't like it. <laughs> um, I didn't understand what was going on. And yeah, I didn't like it. But yeah, I bought this. I'm sure the manga will be different. And it has Junji Ito's art style, so I don't know. <laughs> uh, his art style is at least interesting to look at. No one can say that his art style is boring. So the only other thing I wanted to mention with this volume that I don't think I've seen anyone point out before, maybe I just wasn't paying attention, is the hardcover without the dust jacket on is super cool. <laughs> um, wow, that's really cool. Um, so yeah. So now I guess I can say I actually have a complete Junji Ito collection until, like, the next one comes out. Also, did you see the uh, announcement for the new Junji Ito's Cat Diary um, edition, like, collector's edition? It glows in the dark, and it looks really cool, and I will probably double dip for that series because I do really like Junji Ito's Cat Diary. Uh, this book is very big, so I'm not sure it can fit in the frame, but I got, uh, yeah, you can't even read it. I got Tech on King Crete. Um, this is by Taiyo Matsumoto, which is pretty much the only reason I bought it. Um, I have read Sunny by Taiyo Matsumoto, and it was really, really good. So I'd like to read his other works. I also have Ping Pong, which I will get to soon, probably. Um, and yeah, I just really think his storytelling is interesting. So I got this. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's very big, and I don't know anything about the uh, story of it, but... I'm sure it will be interesting, if nothing else. You know, it has just occurred to me that I've only read one volume in this entire haul. <laughs> um, that's kind of not good. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it happens, I guess. <laughs> uh, anyway, so the last one shot that I got this month was Onward Toward Our Noble Deaths by Shigeru Mizuki. Um, this is about World War II. It's a non-fiction, um, autobiographical account, I'm pretty sure, um, of Mizuki's, um, experience in World War II. Um, oh, it says fictionalized memoir. So, I don't know what a fictionalized memoir means, <laughs> but, uh, I'm sure I'll figure it out. So, yeah, I bought this because I've heard really good things about it, and also because I bought other things, um, that you'll see in just a second. Um... But yeah, so I got this. I'm sure I will like it. It just, um, like I've mentioned before, it I need to be in a certain headspace to read World War II stories, but I'm sure this is very, very good based on what I've heard. And then because apparently that wasn't enough, um, I let Twitter influence everything I did this month, pretty much. And uh, I got um, some more Shigeru Mizuki stuff. So this is Hitoro Strange Adventures. Spoiler alert, okay? I saw on Twitter some art from Shigeru Mizuki, um, especially related to yokais, and it looked really, really, really cool. And, um, so I bought all the stuff I could buy, <laughs> pretty much. Um, so I got this one, and then I got, I don't know what order these are in, I don't know if there is a specific order to these, I'm just picking them up, um, from how they are in my hands right now. Then I got, uh, Kichiro's Yokai Battles, um, and then I got Kitaro meets Nurari, Nurarihyan? Sure. Nurarihan. I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> and then I got The Trial of Kitaro. Um, here's what the back looks like in case you wanted to see. 
and these aren't all going to fit. Then I got Kitaro the Vampire Slayer. Okay, yeah, these won't fit here. <laughs> and then I got the Birth of Kitaro, which I imagine is probably like the first one. Um, very purple on the back. And then finally, I got the Great Tanuki War. So I believe these were all the Kitaro books that I could get um, on Right Stuff. I don't think any of them were out of print or anything. Um, so yeah, I got these. <laughs> And I have not read a single thing from Shigeru Mizuki, but now I can read them all, <laughs> I guess. Um, so yeah, I'm not even sure I've read anything that's specifically about yokai. I probably have, but I just can't remember. Um, so I have these. <laughs> like I said, I just let other people influence my decisions this month, and this is one of them. So this next series is another one that I heard mentioned on another person's channel, specifically Archangel Manga. Um, and I heard him describe it. It had a buzzword in it that is one that uh, I really like. Um, so I got Doll, Volume 1. This, I think this is the only Tokyo Pop manga I own. Um, that might be true. Um, Volume 2. She reminds me of something on the cover and I just can't think of it. Um, yeah. Volume 3. This cover's pretty. Parental advisory on this one. Hmm. Um, volume four. Volume five. And volume six. So I know that these dolls are like robots slash androids, as you can see right there. Um, and that's pretty much the buzzword that I heard and immediately decided I needed to own them. Um, this is the complete series. I was worried I would have a hard time finding them because it's by Tokyo Pop and it's before they came back, I guess. Um, but I found them all pretty easily. They're all in right stuff. Um, the only thing I will mention about these, okay, I haven't read this yet. I will get to it. I'm sure I will like it probably. Um, the only thing I will mention about these is, I don't know if you can tell on these covers, but you see how bright these are, right? And you see how not quite as bright these are. Um, if you can see here, look at how yellow those first three are compared to the last three. These last three look like they were printed yesterday, okay? <laughs> um, and these ones look like they were printed um, 15 years ago, which they were. However, um, if you look at these, like this one was printed in 2004, and this one was also printed in 2004, according to the, the book... So, I don't know. This is seriously the most yellow manga. It might not come up well on camera, but in, in person, this is the most yellow manga I have owned. The, the, and I bought it brand new, supposedly. And honestly, it doesn't really bother me, but it looks like it affects the spines, too. So, let's see. And I understand these are very old, right? But the fact that the first three look so old and the last three look brand new... <laughs> Um, it's very strange. So I don't know if the covers or the spines are supposed to look like this. I don't know if you can see the difference in colors between these first three and these last three, but it's weird. <laughs> and uh, I'm not really complaining. It's just strange. Okay, finally, the last thing that I have to show you is another complete series. It is 10 volumes long. I've heard lots of good things about this for years. And honestly, I was afraid of it going out of print. And I am very much interested in it. It sounds... Um, really cool. But I was afraid that it was going to go out of print, so that's why I bought it this month and not some other month. Um, but I've ha I've had my eye on it for years and years. So this is Ikigami, The Ultimate Limit. Um, I'll show you all the covers, even though they're all pretty boring, honestly. Um, yeah, I have heard more people talking about this recently, um, which kind of influenced my decision to buy it, but not really. Um, like I said, I've been interested in it for a long time. Um, I got all these on eBay for a pretty good deal. Not that much cheaper than I could have got them on Right Stuff, but considering, uh, I mean, they're pr basically in new condition. There's a little bit of yellowing, but not really. Um, and there's no, like, tears or corners ripped or anything like that, so, I don't know, it's fine. <laughs> um, I know that this is about some government control, like, um, they think people aren't appreciating their lives enough, so they decide to randomly choose someone to die in 24 hours or whatever. Um, that's pretty much all I know about this. 
which is enough for me because I don't know dystopian. I like dystopian stuff like that anyway. Um, so this is volume six. I think the only one that's getting a little bit difficult to find is volume three. It's not too bad. It's not like it costs three hundred fifty dollars or anything. But uh, yeah. These covers are all pretty boring. I don't know why I'm really showing you all of these. Except for that one. Because it has a creepy face in the background. Um, can I show you art without spoiling anything? That looks spoilery. That looks spoilery. Um, uh, that looks spoilery. <laughs> Here's some non-spoilery, maybe, art. Um, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully that didn't, that didn't spoil anything. But I don't know. Um, volume 9 with some more creepy background art. And volume 10. Oops, that's the back. This one's kind of thick, too. I don't know if you can tell. Um, so yeah, that's everything I got this month. It ended up being just under 50 volumes. Um, next month's haul, I'd like to say, like, oh yeah, next month I'm not going to buy as many. No, next month's haul might be worse. <laughs> um, but I will have read more of the books in the next month's haul, I believe. So that's actually better. <laughs> um, but I do have plans to read some of these in specific videos, so you'll see them soon. Um, and also, you know, we just all have those days where we go and buy things that we don't need. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Let me know um, if you have any opinions about any of these series I mentioned today. If you have recommendations for me, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Um, that might be dangerous for me, but I'm inviting it, so go ahead and do it. Other than that, I don't really have much else to say. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!